Hey everybody, it's time to roll the wind. We're going to get out here and we're going to shoot from down in the hook this afternoon. Turn this mic if I can a little bit more towards me. Apparently I can't. Let's see. There we go. Alright, hopefully that will pick up the sound good enough so I won't have to walk to the far end. But we will be shooting this 2124 from down here in the hook and some people had asked about getting better shots of my grip and that kind of thing now from a lot of these videos i used a very skinny very very skinny grip um set up my die set here 2124 be something like so barely a pip sometimes even thinner and it would be a toss similar to that now <clears throat> over the last two or three weeks I've been trying to work with a, a little bit different grip And it's doing okay. Um, it's more in the lines of this. A little bit more pad. Not a lot of grip. Not a lot of pressure. But my dice seem to fly a lot better down the pipe there. Alright, so we'll start with that. The other, one, the other practice toss there, if you want to call it that, was a... Uh, hard six I believe so I've set up 204 almost I've got an $800 bank roll 204 across <clears throat> and we'll see just kind of want to get an idea on this this was uh, the location and the set I was using a lot on crapless tables when I was shooting down in Biloxi a couple of weeks ago. So that's a 426. The whole idea of the $204 across is it allows you on each each hit pays you $50 for $1. So there's our 50. Pay the dealer one. I don't know where to put that where y'all can see it. I guess out here in the middle of the combat and come line. That'll be our proceeds from our bets out here. I'm resting my left hand up on the rail up here kind of brace myself looking straight down this don't pass line basically it's five three eight fifty for one there and so we're at least halfway basically covered I didn't move the odds down. I want to leave that up because I'm going to play with my Mississippi press if I can hit it enough. I'm trying to think positive here. It's a little strong, but we got a hard 10 out of it. That's $50 on a 10. We didn't hit our more or less than old. <clears throat> didn't clean my table up apparently. Alright, so. $10. 
10 pays 50 for one. I can do that backwards. Alright, so <clears throat> we are now at $150 in our rack. No, no. I got fifty dollars on this. I got fifty dollars on that. I set that up wrong. I don't apologize. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just reduce and make sure now it's correct. Twenty-five page fifty for one. So there's twenty-five. 35 and 42 on the 6 and 8. It's 5, 3, 8. <clears throat> two eights. I can't remember now. For some reason I've got an extra chip out there. I don't know why. Anyway, we're going to collect 50 for one. So, we're $200. We've got $4 of exposure plus a $15 pass line. So, we'll leave that there, that there. You could bring your exposure down. You could go 66 inside, you could go 96 across, and you'd be in the profit. So you would have a choice here. Shrink it inside. 110 or 66 if you're on a $15 table you can go 96 across bring some of that down we've had four hits looks like whoa big hot back There's a four three seven. Well, bad, bad throw from Ed. All right, so let's set this up properly. Got forty two, forty two, thirty five. All right, so we're gonna take one hundred, two hundred. I'm gonna take two oh five out and give myself a dollar back. that up here in the rack. Let's do fifteen dollars out for the pass line again. And let's do fifteen dollars. Let me all tall small. Let's reload. See what we can get here. A little bit different throwing from an extra two, two and a half feet. Five, three, eight, eight is the point. Clean off those hits we had. We'll mark the eight on the tall. modified 2V. This dice would normally be that way. We 
buckshot on the point. Five three eight. There's our 50 for one, and our 15 for hitting the point. Point comes off, mark it. So let me know if you like this view on occasion of the grip, the launch. Man, those fly so pretty. 639. So 639 here. I'm losing. Let me adjust that camera down a little bit. Just a little bit if I can. You don't know if that's better or not. You can't really see the flight. Go back up. You can see most of the flight of the dice as well as the launch. Alright, we have 639. We've got 35 on here. Everywhere with Mississippi, that pays 50 for one, I guess. Doing the one for the wrong spot. There we go. Collect that first hit. those bits a little bit of a power aggressive mode here so let's collect man those rolled way over there five four nine again second hit on the nine that 50 for one again all right so <clears throat> you can go to 75 you can go to 50 I'll leave it at 35 but you hit it twice so I'd want to press I've hit it twice, hit it back to back. I'm going to want to at least go to 50. I'm probably going to go ahead and go to 75. Three two five, sister number. Three two five, pushing that way deep. Thirty five pays fifty for one. All right, so we'll put that one in. That was our first hit on the five. Again, I'm shooting that 2124 right up there. Oh, 628 got a little lucky. Oh man, I don't even know where the point is. I had back to back there. Okay, eight's the point. Forgot to mark the point a minute ago. Also would have made fifteen dollars. 
bring our small up and we got the five we got the nine eight nine five eight nine that's all we've hit flat on pancake down there and bounced up and back. Got a 6410 out of it. It's gonna be another 50 for one hit. We'll press the 10 to 50. Put my quarter back in my rack. six three out of it we'll take it we'll take all the luck we can get Let me mark that ten did it again there we go seventy five it's gonna play us black chip and a nickel one oh five I'm going to the rack with that one like collecting black chips I like collecting purple chips better coloring up with purple and orange or whatever the color for the grand is right all right so got a pretty good little hand going and I'm throwing it way too deep I lost my accuracy that extra two feet. One of the reasons I'm down here, but hey, we got a four two six out of it. It's gonna be another fifty. Isn't that nice how that works? Fifty for one right there. <clears throat> forty two pays forty nine. Fifty for one. I apologize for being so strong on this toss. Try to take something off of that and hit the point. 538. A lot more force. So we got the point. It's 50 for one. 15 on the pass line. <clears throat> now, we've got 42 on it. We've hit that thing four times. Made a point, set a point, or set a point, hit it. So let's go up. Go from 42 to 80. Ninety. I've already paid them a dollar, so those two dollars are mine. So we go to ninety. And we're coming out. Let's see if we can't get a little more accurate throw down there there's a come out seven that would wipe out our all tall small you're gonna throw one other than throwing for that bonus 
I'm going to take $15 out of my rack, reload it. Landing flat, large of twelve. Fifteen back on the pass line. I'm wanting most of the pressure on the thumb on that edge, a little bit on the middle finger in the seam. There's another 12. There's them craps numbers I was throwing with this set the other day. Drop a quarter. Oh, let's take it out over here. We'll put 15. That would have been a good parlay, wouldn't it? We'll do a three-way craps for three dollars, dollar each. throw aces there for a sec. That's a three one four. That one stopped first on the one. <laughs> I was gonna say, ooh, I'm fixing to hit aces. Alright. Four becomes the point. Let's see what else we can get into. We need to mark that four up there. Bad we had that come out seven. Hard eight. At ninety. That's going to pay us 105 as well. And there's a 6-1. Didn't quite get up there like we wanted to. But we've been on here for 24 minutes. So, let's just see what we did on that first. Well, that was actually two, wasn't it? There's two, there's 50, 250. Start out with 800. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifty, sixty. 50, 60. 
70, 80. And it looks like five ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was our buy-in net profit. One, two, 50, 75, 80, 290. To be honest with you, that's a lot of initial exposure. Or $290 profit. Now, percentage-wise, we're through two hands. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The last hand was 9 plus 2, 7. So a 10 and 11. You're right on, right on statistical average. So I suppose you can see the value of what I was talking about earlier of reducing after you've got that first three or four hits, locking everything up. Of course, we were able to continue but it's not a bad not a bad percentage win but I don't like the total risk on what we got as a return but that's just me I see people all the time talk about going 640 across that kind of thing for two hits and then dropping it down to 96 across or 66 inside we've all got our own levels of pain we've all got our own comfort levels with different amounts of exposure so that kind of gives you an idea of a high exposure decent return without the regression they quite frankly would have been smart to have made so run this one through your practice table your practice rig practice a regression three or four hits in if you can get to that third hit, it's probably the best time to go ahead and do, do a quick reduction. And then if the hand becomes a long hand, you can build up and out from there. That's my two cents worth. All right, everybody, practice like you play. Play like you practice. Go roll to win.